So we first had presentations by the Edinburgh College of Arts students and some talks by the staff. Um, and then we had group discussions um, of the related topics. Um, our group was specifically looking at sustainability within fashion. So cotton at the moment is the largest produced fibre. It was 24 million tonnes were produced in 2005. I know that's not recent, but it's sort of kept going um, at the same speed. Um, in some cases, over 10 tonnes of water is used to grow enough cotton to make a pair of your jeans. So in regards to that, imagine the weight of 10 baby elephants. That's how much water you would need to make one pair of jeans. So it's quite a lot. The areas within sustainability of fashion, um, we looked at the carbon footprint, we looked at what sustainability was, and we also looked at kind of ways that to reduce sustainability and to make it better. The purpose of the discussion session with the students was to primarily get them to look at the processes of sustainability. Um, for example, maybe looking at how much dye is wasted, um, also how much fabric is wasted um, and looking at is it sustainable, how the, the process is, how they're doing it. Um, in the pack, the students learn a numerous different um, processes through that and they linked it to the topics that they had just learnt. Um, so for example, when looking at the dyes, we had the black dye, for example, and there was a massive bucket full and we put all the powder in there possible because you have to put more powder in for black. And the black, the water was then, um, the, we took the garment out and dried it and it was a very, very light pale colour. You didn't even realise it could have been black dye. Um, so it shows the students that the, you needed a lot more powder and a lot more dye. Um, and a lot more water, so a lot more water would have been wasted. So in less economical countries, the water can't just be taken out. Um, so lots of the rivers are polluted and um, it's not a very good water system. Um, we also looked at heat transfer papers with them and we explained to them that, um, yes, okay, it may make a pretty pattern or whatever, so what you basically do is you um, cut the pattern that they want out, then you iron it onto the shirt, and then they would be chucking out the paper that was used from the heat transfer papers. So then we were basically saying, can you use that paper in any way? Could you put it back onto the shirt as well instead of chucking it away? Because it's not very sustainable. Um, I found that the young students were really interested um, in sustainability. They really kind of fascinated by the facts, particularly in the presentation at the beginning of the day, um, and interested that they could actually help um, and sustain. Um, so they, they kind of came up with their own ideas um, about kind of clothes being passed down within their families, and they also take clothes to clothing banks, um, and their parents um, make them and their clothes as well.